Hi guys, I'm Lauren Vitali and on this episode of Lauren Kitchen I want to share with you my spaghetti with tuna puttanesca. It is so easy to make. It's just a great little slight twist to a traditional puttanesca, uh, spaghetti puttanesca which I've done here before a long time ago and it's one of the things that my mom used to make for us a lot when we were kids and I just wanted to share this recipe with you because it's been a while since I've done like a spaghetti and red sauce and this is just hits the spot. So the ingredients you'll need are kind of basics but basics for me, but they're really easy to find ones. You'll need some anchovies packed in oil, and that's what I've got here. Fresh parsley, some Kalamata olives that have been pitted and chopped in half. I've got some capers that have been drained, some sliced up garlic, hot pepper flakes. This is some Italian canned tuna packed in olive oil that I've drained the olive oil. I used a six ounce can and a three ounce can, and I just drained the oil, and I kind of just broke it up into large chunks. Nothing, I didn't want to break it up too, too much. And I have a 28 ounce can of uh, tomatoes here, Italian plum tomatoes that have been peeled and I'm going to crush with my hands, but a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes is going to do the job perfectly. Olive oil, your spaghetti, salt and pepper, you're ready to go. So let's get started. I've got a big pot back there with some water in there, a nice sprinkling of salt coming up to a boil. In this skillet with high sides, I'm going to add all together my garlic. I've got some olive oil in there already and it's not hot yet, which is actually pretty good. I don't want it to be too hot yet. I want this to warm up together. My anchovies. Now, if you're not an anchovy fan, trust me when I tell you that you're not even going to be able to taste them, but they just add a lovely level of saltiness that is just so traditional in a puttanesca. So, go ahead and add those in there. I promise you, you won't be able to taste them. Just make sure you, got, you buy the anchovies packed in oil, not salt. And I'm also going to add a healthy sprinkling of hot pepper flakes because I like my mutanesca nice and spicy. And I'm going to cook this all together until the garlic sizzles and lightly browns and the anchovies melt right into the oil. That's exactly how I want it. I crushed my tomatoes just with my hands. I'm going to add them right in there. Oh yeah. This smells incredible already. I'm going to add my capers, my cafetti, as we call them. My olives. My mom used to make olive caparilla, she used to call them spaghetti with olives and capers. She never called it puttanesca. My nonna calls it puttanesca, but she always said, oh, Laura, stasera si mangia olive caparilla con i Oh, memories. Okay, I'm gonna let that cook for about 15 minutes. After five minutes that this has been bubbling up, simmering over about medium heat, I'm going to put my spaghetti into my boiling water and then that way everything will be done at the same time and we can pull this whole thing off together. It's easy, easy, easy and quick, which is perfect for a weeknight. If you want to have a nice sort of spruce up sauce and spaghetti, this is going to be perfect for you. So let this simmer for about 15 minutes or so. After five minutes, put the spaghetti in there for 10 minutes and then everything will be done together at the same time. I'm going to clean up a bit and get ready to pretty much plate this whole thing together. It is so easy. Easy peasy. My sauce has reduced beautifully. It's been cooking for about 15 minutes. I've got my spaghetti in there um, in the boiling water. That's almost done. I've got one minute to go. And what I've done is I'm just adding my tonno or my tuna in there. And you can see I'm not really breaking it up too much because I don't want to break it up too much. And I'm stirring that in and let that cook for just a minute. The timer is up. I'm going to add in my fresh parsley. Adjust the seasoning to taste. I've already seasoned it with salt and pepper. You want to make sure you taste it first because you've got the salty olives and the capers. And you don't want everything to be too salted. So I'm going to let this go for one minute. Join my spaghetti and meet you right back here to plate it all. I'm just going to take my sauce and put that right into the same pan pot there with the spaghetti that has been drained really, really well. And now I'm just going to take my tongs and mix this all together carefully. Again, I don't want to break up the tuna too much. I want to kind of keep that tuna as chunky as I can. And what I've been loving to do, and I wanted to share this with you, is I've been just, when I make this, put that all into a big bowl, kind of family style. And look at that. It smells outrageously good. I've got my timer that keeps telling me that spaghetti's ready, even though I'm, I, I understand. <laughs> I just want to put some of the 
olives on there and the tuna because it kind of all sinks at the bottom. And then what I've been loving to do so much is put a small handful of arugula right in the middle because as you eat this, right, as you swirl your fork and you mix that arugula in, the pepperiness just goes incredibly well with that saltiness from the anchovies and the pa uh, capers and the olives and then the tuna. It's just in a, a match made in heaven. I've been loving adding that on top of my um, of this dish because I think it just takes it over the top. I'm going to give this a try right out of the bowl because that looks too pretty and I want to give that to my husband because he works pretty hard. So I'm going right from the pot. True Laura Vitale style right here. But give me a minute because this is going to be hot. I inhaled that. This is just for my husband and I. We're going to have great leftovers and that means I can go back for seconds right from my fork right into the pot. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. Go to LaraInTheKitchen.com to get this recipe along with many, many, many others. As always, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.